Taco Bell. Not us, they don't know. Have fun, all right. Fantastic. This is my child. Lunch. Sorry, Taco Bell. One good place. Taco Bell. Hey, it's Bowtie, and today I'm going to be going to paint night again for the second time. It's going to be interesting because we're painting something like flowers or something. Isn't that right, Kendall? Yeah. But first, we decided to get some lunch, and uh, I'm eating salad and go in a Chipotle, and I'm like, boy. Also sporting all the Taco Bell merch. I'm wearing the socks, the hat, the bow tie. I don't know if the bike's arrived yet, but that's going to be my next video that I record. This is what we're going to be painting. And this has yet to be turned into a work of art. It's so aesthetically pleasing, like, oh my gosh. Look at that, it's like my soul. It's pure black glistening. No, that's a more accurate representation of my soul. Beautifully blue and a mess. Gotta protect my white shirt, otherwise I'll get stains all over it. And this is my only good shirt, too. Well, here's the background for so far. Still have a little bit more blending to do on the end, but it looks good so far. If you mix yellow and blue together, what color will that give you? And write it down on your sheet. Our team name is super cool. Yeah, you guys can just the three maybe. Man, this can zoom in a lot. <laughs> What's the best way to apply water to your brush to avoid dripping? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. The reason I'm not using my big camera is because I've been recording too much. So I thought I'd just see how well this phone works. Honestly, I feel like it works really good, especially since it's better than my old phone. Wow. What painter painted the Mona Lisa? And Pusha and Spanish paint. Mona Lisa. That's spot right. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't think there's an I in the, like, in the, the first part. Well, yeah, you, we, know, we know who we need. Isn't that every freaking artist, though? I feel like Leonardo. It's like four. Leonardo, Donatello, Michelangelo, Raphael. Those are mostly Italian Renaissance. Number four, you see the texture of the canvas come through your paint. What does that mean? It means that you need to add more water. What does that mean? Kendall, this can zoom in super freaking good. Look at this, like live. I zoom in all the way. You tell me to watch Number it here. You think the screen never way. Secondary colors. How do you know what primary colors are? Oh. <laughs> How do you not know what primary Just colors are? Tell me the answer. We're all on the team. Okay, yeah, I know. I know. Secondary colors. So, what famous painter wrote letters to his brother? That later helped decipher meanings behind his paintings. So he's very Ooh, well I known. I know it. Um, and he would write to his brother explaining why these paintings sketch it out. But I'll give you a hint. It's not one of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles now. The reason I know it is because of Doctor Who. Oh, oh yeah. So yeah. So yeah. Letters to his brother. Actually, it's not because of Doctor Who because it didn't explicitly say it, but paintings. since I was in art class in high school, I would know. How do I call these basically like Wait, the no. Power Rangers, right? Uh, no, actually. <laughs> but, if you think about it, technically speaking, if you add two colors, so secondary colors would be one and one color. So the primary colors is what those two colors that make the secondary color. Yeah, so and like then the, tri so the whatever the second... Yellow and blue are primary. Yeah. That would make red, the secondary color green. green. Okay, so red, white. One, Wait, why isn't it really so pink? If I don't you think mix would be. red and blue together, no, we did yellow and blue. What color does that give you? Green. Green. Good job. And what's the best way to apply water to your brush to avoid dripping? Just the tip of the brush to the surface of the water. And what painter painted the Mona Lisa? Leonardo da Vinci. Da Vinci. Good job. And number four. You can see the texture of the canvas come through your paint. What does that mean? Too dry. It's too dry. It needs more water. And number five, what are the secondary colors? Purple, orange, green. Purple, orange, green. Yeah, so two primaries together. And number six, what famous painter wrote letters to his brother? Van Gogh. Van Gogh. Oh, Van Gogh. Oh, yeah, boy, we win again. It's kind of easy since we already knew the end. <laughs> you can check out the last time I went painting over here by clicking the card. Well, I've got myself the grass part plant started, and uh, 
I don't know. I, I, it wasn't working at first. Like, it had a little, okay. that kind of effect to it, but yeah. then I kind of tried fixing it. I like it so far. Getting a tad bit messy, but you know, it's okay. It's the art process at work. Turn dragging up. Then I'll go back to the base of my flower again. And I'm going to take a right curve to drag up. Yep. Fill it in. Well, this is going to be fun. Actually taking a step back, it kind of looks amazing. I'm not going to lie, I like it a lot, more than I did originally. And I feel like since the last time my painting skills have gotten a little bit better, but that's just because I can actually say that I've painted before. The candles though, ooh boy, that looks super cool. Good job, Kendall. Taking another step back, uh, I added a bit more to it, and I love it so much. Yeah, here, go ahead, you have here. Kendall had a little bit of grass to hers, which is pretty cool. I like it a lot. Hey, thanks for watching the whole video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, let me know by clicking that like button. And if you liked the end result for that painting, you can go check out the artist who taught the class. All the social media links are in the description, by the way. And if you're new to this channel, you can click over here to subscribe. Check out my latest video by clicking here. My social medias are over there. I have a playlist of all the videos that I've ever uploaded. You can check it out there. And you can also support me on Patreon. All the links are in the description below. But that's all, so have a fan-freaking-tastic day. And stay cool, companions.